Okay, so uh, checking back in here with the engine compartment, a uh, couple accessories that we've got mounted uh, that we didn't touch on. Radiator, uh, it's gonna be a top sportsman car, so it's got a radiator in it. So uh, we used our mount kit, that's our standard uh, kit that we mount all the radiators with. So um, it comes with the tabs and the tubing and the sleeves and all the stuff to mount it. So this is a removable mount. So. Um, you can see what we've done here. We've actually added a little bend to these. These tubes come straight in the kit, but this radiator here, for the size of it, we wanted the um, uh, tubes to end up right on top of the frame rail. So we uh, just put a little Z kick bend in here. But uh, so you want to get the radiator in the car mounted as high as possible so that you've got good flow and try to get all the air out of the engine. So it's very important not to trap any air in the engine uh, cooling system because it won't work effectively. So this particular in, in body style and engine size and all the different options play into effect on that. So if I were to slip this front end back on the car right now, we have this radiator up to where it just clears the bottom of the hood. So this is up as high as we can get it in the car. But it's also still lower than this upper water neck here is. So you can see this plate, we, uh, we actually added this to the engine. It didn't have anything on it. We got a little bleed, a little petcock bleeder that goes right here. So that once we fill this up with uh, water, we can bleed this off right here and bleed any little air that might be trapped because this is kind of lower. This is gonna be a lower point than this. You can see it's about two inches lower. So uh, we wanna make sure that we have no air pockets anywhere. So with the pump running, we can uh, bleed that off and, and get that uh, all that air out from this little petcock. So this uh, mount is done. And uh, there's a couple little sleeves. We're going to just a 5 8 uh, 058 wall sleeve here. And uh, this is half inch uh, tubing. And then there, it comes with these two little stop sleeves, which are um, about 3 8 7 inch thick, quarter or 3 8. That's going to be tacked onto the main tube here so that when you set the radiator down in there, it stops on those little welded stop sleeves. That way you can cut this mount, this mount doesn't have to go all the way to the bottom because what happens is when you weld this down here at the bottom, it actually shrinks the tube just a little bit and <clears throat> it also gets some, uh, a little bit of burn through into the tube. So what happens is if the, if the, if the half inch tube goes all the way to the bottom, they stick, they're, they're sticky to get in and out. So with these little stop sleeves, you can cut that tube off about a half inch short from going all the way to the bottom and then that radiator will slip in and out very easily. It won't get down into that area where it's tight. So that is a kind of a nice feature because uh, if you don't do it, when you slide the radiator down in there, it kind of locks itself in and you got to end up trying to pop it out of there to get it out of the way. So uh, mount kit, you can make a few modifications to it if you need to. If, you, if, it, if your frame rail width is different than this, it'll, you can just run it straight down to the top of the frame. Um, so we've got the radiator mounted. Uh, another thing that uh, this engine came in with um, uh, kind of a shipping motor plate on it. So it didn't have our motor plate on it and it didn't have the dry sump tank mounted. So we just grabbed one of our dry sump tank mount kits, which is, is a laser cut tab here and here. This tab's bent to fit the uh, uh, diameter of the tank. Then we use a uh, uh, three quarter inch, uh, seven, eighths, seven eighths and three quarter inch tube to uh, to make this mount offset, so you can actually see us a little kick over on this to uh, to get that over. So we're going to mount this right here, and then uh, when we take this motor plate back off, this is going to get drilled through countersunk from the back. So we'll use a flathead um, bolt through there, and uh, the nut will be on this side. So once the motor plate's off, we're going to mount this right here, and then. Uh, this is going to get welded up and um, sent out to be electroless nickel plated with the rest of the parts of the car. So this mount, this kit com <clears throat> comes with the clamps, comes with all the stuff you need to mount to the tank. Um, but this is the configuration. This is how it should look when it's done. And you basically want to position that tank so it's away from the dry sump pump and offset from the engine and um, in line with the uh, return hose. So that's all done and ready to go. So. Uh, this thing is, is really just about ready to come out. So now that we've got all this stuff fit, we're going to, uh, you can see we've already got the main body off of the car. And um, 
we'll uh, we'll pull this engine out now because we're done with the headers and all this other stuff and do some of the final welding on all the accessories we put on it.